Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the integration of Xtend report with Cucumber framework. As we know that Xtend report is an open source framework for generating the test report. So first, let me give you an example of Xtend report. So this is how the test report get generated using the Xtend report framework. On the left hand side, you will see all the scenarios along with their status. And in case if a scenario is failed, you will get the detail for the failure along with the screenshot. And this is the same format in which we are going to generate the report. As we are going to use the extent report framework, so first thing we need to do is to add its dependency inside the pom.xml. So just go to the Maven repository and search for extent report and add this dependency inside the pom.xml. So if you look at the report, there are certain information which we need during the runtime, such as scenario title and its status, whether it is passed or failed. So this information can easily be fetched via scenario object. Now scenario object is automatically injected inside a hook method by Cucumber framework. So first I'm going to create a separate class. This class will have all my reporting logic. And the format of report which we are going to generate is HTML. Inside this class, I'm going to create certain private variable. So this is the class we need to use if we want to generate the report in HTML format. After this, I'm going to create the constructor which is going to initialize these two variable. And the parameter to the constructor is the name as well as the location of the report file. So first we will create the object of extent HTML reporter. And here we will supply the location of the report file. So this represents where we want to generate the report and with what name. After that, we need to create the object of extent reports. And using the extent report, we need to attach our HTML reporter. So when you attach a reporter with the object of extent reports, it is going to start the extent reporting gen and there onwards, it is ready to capture the test event. So if you look at the report, as you can see here on our left hand side, we have the information about the scenario and their status. Now this information can be added to the report by calling a method that is create test. This method is again coming from the extent report framework. So here I'm going to create a public method that will call the create test method and specify the required information. So the first parameter to this method is scenario. And this will have the information about the current scenario. And the second parameter is the screenshot file name. So in case if the scenarios fail, we need to take the screenshot and attach with the report. So this variable will represent the complete path of the screenshot file. So again in the report, as you can see here, when our scenario is passed, the status is passed. And when the scenario is failed, the status is failed. So first of all, let me put a null check on scenario. So using the scenario object, you can get the status by calling a method called get status. So here I will use scenario dot get status. So this will return you the status of a scenario execution that is whether it is passed or failed. So here I will use switch case scenario dot get status. So the first case is passed. So then I will create a test dot create test. So the test name. Now in our case, the test name should be the title of the scenario. So let me create a private method that will give us the title of the scenario. So using scenario dot get name, you can get the title of the scenario. So using this, I'm just removing the spaces from the scenario title. So let me create a string variable and call this method to get the title. And in order to add the status as pass, this one, we are going to use one more method that is pass along with the message. Now second case for the field, again using the extend report, 
dot create test test name and now the method I'm going to use is fail and in order to add the screenshot just call this method so this variable will have the location for the screenshot image so I'm going to use this one so when you open a file inside the browser as you can see here the absolute path of the file get prepend with this string and in the absolute path only forward slash are being used so let me create one more private method and i'm going to use the method over here so it is going to throw us the exception so i'll just add throws keyword along with this method so in case of default i will just create a test with status as skipped after this in order to write all this test event inside the report we need to call a method called flush so let me create one more public method so once we have captured all this event we need to write this event back to the reporter we can do that by calling the flush method and you can look at the extent report documentation for the other api support so here i will create a separate method first i'm going to put a null check and then call the method so this method will push all the test event into the report so let us use this reporter inside the class that is general hook inside the general hook i'm going to create two method one will be tagged with at the rate before and one will be tagged with at the rate after also let me create the private variable for our custom extent reporter so i have created one more private variable that is is reporter running this variable is used for determining whether we have already started the extent report engine or not so with this method the annotation which we need to use is before and inside this method first i'm going to check whether the reporter is already running or not create the instance of our custom extent reporter and then change the flag value to true so one more public method for after scenario and the annotation which we need to use with this method is at the rate after so first i'm going to check for the status of the scenario so scenario dot is failed so this is a method which will return either true or false based on the status of the scenario so if there is a failure then we need to take the screenshot scenario dot get name remove all the spaces and the extension So using our framework method, we can take this screenshot. So after taking the screenshot, we need to call the method that will make the entry inside the report. So custom extent reporter dot create test scenario and the screenshot file name. As this method is going to throw us the checked exception so i'm going to add throws keyword with this after scenario method and in the end call the method that will write the event to the report so after this we need to call this statement which will stop the web driver so let me run our custom generic runner So the execution is done. Let us check out the report. So these are the screenshot which our framework took and this is the report.